Hey, uh, hey, Sherry. Yes? What time is it? Meme of the week! Germany plans to force people who won't quarantine into camps. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> I love, I love it. I'm taking the little earbud out like, yeah. oh, wait, wait a second. <laughs> <I'm> so good. <laughs> Uh, but we do have another bonus me week. Uh, another bonus meme this week. Take a look at the bonus meme. Come on, Angus. You need your exercise. <laughs> Holy fucking shit, kid! I need a goddamn pizza. <laughs> Boy, that reminds me of a visitor we had this weekend with <laughs> someone else. <laughs> I mean, when you need a pizza, you need a pizza. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Holy fucking shit, Sherry. <laughs> He is done with that kid's shit. <laughs> I feel like I feel like the breakdown you're having right now is it's it's still extending over from the yes. end of the monologue. Correct. Uh whew, boy. Let's uh let's go ahead and answer some viewer mail, shall we? I'm the part of the show, I want to answer my question from the audience. It's uh ah, Jesus. It's really a whole big thing. I mean, no one's still watching after the video, so. All right, so we're going to start off this week with Andrew Avery, who writes, Dear Alan and Sherry, with a 13-hour time difference, I woke up for these Olympics. Did you woke up? <laughs> um... <laughs> I've heard, you see, I it's one of, this is one of those things where I keep on hearing from everyone how woke the Olympics are this year, but I genuinely uh -huh. don't know because I haven't watched a single second of them. Yeah. I, I watched like 30 seconds of some skateboarding with my daughter because my mom was like, hey, there's some skateboarding and some little Japanese girl is winning and it's cute. And we watched and we said, oh, cute. And then we turned it off. So the, the thing is, I actually read this from, um, from somebody recently that was talking about, you know, America... The Team USA always does well in the Olympics. I yeah. mean, they're always near the top collectively. And usually usually will gold or high medal in a lot of the big premier events, mm -hmm. you know. But they're not doing quite as well this year as in years past. And one reason, just, just, just sort of thinking out loud here, one reason for that might be that, you know, there, there's been such a movement to move people's time preferences to such a high time preference that... Mm. Americans don't just have their run of the Olympics anymore the way they used to because I mean you think of you think of being an Olympian like other yeah. than just being genetically so gifted that you could theoretically be one if you worked very hard but it's yeah. not just it's not just working hard I mean for for a lot of people in a lot of events you have to decide years decades even in advance yes. I'm gonna be an Olympian and you people's put, whole childhood. Yes. You put all of that of all your life into mm -hmm. and into then having a brief window where you're at your peak. Yep. Like you're like you're planning you're you're seven years old and you're planning for three Olympics from now mm -hmm. to, to go make a run at it, right? <laughs> right. And and people just don't people just don't think that way. Nope anymore or dedication i guess i should say the percentage of people that are willing to endure that is shrinking correct so I mean, I, we've got to beat the kids like china yes we <laughs> well like you, you look at russia if you look at russia in the medal standings they're not called russia they're called roc which is the right. russian olympic committee because they that's a thing that exists right. yeah because they took over a bunch of places and called it theirs i tell you what if this is this is like one of those this is like would you rather things would you <laughs> would you be content to close down the cdc today but it's replaced with the american olympic committee <laughs> <laughs> and they're just drugging these infants just pumping them full of steroids oh, that's a tough one <laughs> Just, just something to think about. I mean, if you want to see how fast a motherfucker can run, let's let's find out. <laughs> that's, all, that's all. That's all I'm saying. Uh, I don't know why I'm so angry about it. I'm not. I'm no. not even mad. I just. I don't know. Um, I just. It's just what's in my heart. I guess. I don't know. Uh, Marilyn Willemowski writes, "Dear Alan and Sherry, do you iron? If so, do you enjoy it, and are you good at it?" 
So I already said to Mary, I, I like I took Mary aside privately and said, Mary, I feel like this question just was born out of whatever you saw or were doing at the time <laughs> that you wrote your question. She she was ironing. I can just see her now and they're cute little Mary ironing and going, I wonder if Alan and Sherry iron and if they yeah. enjoy it as much as I. <laughs> when I'm when I'm sitting on the toilet, I think I wonder I wonder if other people take shits. <laughs> Hey, that's one of my favorite parts of the day, man. It's just, you just, it's the demons. You got to get them out. <laughs> but I actually, I don't because I'm so pure of spirit. <laughs> um, by the way, that's why there are so many comments in the viewer mail thread. It, thread it's mostly me and Mary right. just yelling <laughs> right. at each other about her ironing. I try to avoid it when <clears throat> I can. Um, yes. So I agree. If, if, if your clothes come out of the dryer and they need to be ironed, just, just get rid of them. Yeah. <laughs> um, Ryan Seifert writes, dear Alan and Sherry, if you eat a cold hot pocket, is it just a pocket? <laughs> it's a pocket sickle. A pock sickle? A pock sickle. Ah! <laughs> it's, it's just an uncooked ravioli, I guess. Yeah. Ooh. I'm but kill you. Probably I tell you not. what, though, I like the way Ryan's thinking. Yeah. Ryan is single handedly saving this program. Have you noticed that? I, I have. He's got okay. good brain minds. What what the hell is going on right here? What? <laughs> I... Someone's trying to escape. Yeah, I know. I mean, look at it all. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm chopping this off. I told you that, didn't I? Uh, I know. I don't like to talk about it. It's it's going. Uh, Eric Eli writes, Dear Alan Sherry, is Fauci a manifestation of both Pinky and the brain? <laughs> so when I first saw this question, my, my initial thought was, I, I don't want to talk about Fauci. I don't want to get into politics in the viewer mail. But then I realized, actually, he is a manifestation of both Pinky and the brain. Because yeah, his, his, his evil intentions are the brain, but his, his ability to actually you know make it happen is pinky right I, that's some deep stuff right there but, i'm liking that I, that is some deep. i feel like we could throw out the rest of the show and just talk about pinky, pinky and animaniacs the yes <laughs> um can you sing the song you know the song that the one guy sings where he sings all the countries in the world Oh, I know. I've I've thought about memorizing that before. Albania. Yeah. I like how it was Albania and then everyone else. Yeah, yeah. And, I don't remember. Okay. <laughs> what? Oh, yeah. Oh, you know, I'm just gonna let that go. Um, you should do that, Sherry. I should, next live show, man. I yes, I will. I'll have the music prepared, and you, you do the song. Can I break plates at the end? Um, sure. Okay. Some, someone's someone's Yay. plates. Yay. Um, Lal Dario writes, Dear Alan and Sherry, do you have a favorite Monopoly piece? Um, I do have a favorite Monopoly piece. I like the hat. Yeah, I, hey, I like the hat too. Do or you? the shoe. I really like the shoe as well. So I originally thought that this might be a trick question in my favorite Monopoly piece is a house. Because, you know, most people don't actually know how to win Monopoly. The way you right. win Monopoly is, is you create a Monopoly, but that's by taking all the houses so other people yeah. can't physically play the game. You and go into real estate like a boss. Yes, it's free real estate. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right. So Logan Denny writes, Dear Alan Sherry, what do you think of my mustache? So you guys can't see Logan right now. He's got a picture here, and he he has one of those. What, what is there a name for the type of mustache where you it it twirls like Captain Hook? I'm sure you know? there is, but I don't remember it. We gotta we gotta find that out during the break. Or I something. have a picture with him. I got to meet Logan in real life too, and see that sweet mustache. It there you awesome. go. He's got think... the only thing, Logan, is you should dye it black and be Captain Hook. I think. Oh. Uh, yes, a pirate. Yes, I'll be, I'll be Jon Snow if he was a Witcher, and right. Logan will be Captain Hook for Halloween Ooh. doing it. And and I'll be Princess Leia if she were a five hundred pound woman, middle aged woman. <laughs> you can be the Princess Leia that's <laughs> suffocating in space. Right. <laughs> there you are then. Yay me. Um, <laughs> Rachel Watson Kennerly writes, uh, Dear Alan and Sherry, which running back are you drafting first in your fantasy football league? You know, it's been years since I played fantasy football. 
I love how she asks me just out of courtesy. Yeah. Like she gives course. me the, the honor of saying, I don't care about mm -hmm. that shit. You know, she at mm -hmm. least asks. Thank you. Thank you, Rachel. You know, I, I quit playing fantasy football and just started gambling. <laughs> you went right to the hard stuff. It's that's like playing fantasy football, but also the most dangerous game. Yes. Correct. So agent of chaos. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm a Cowboys fan, so I'm going to say Zeke is making a bounce back season this year. And now they're now everyone in the audience is boo, boo, Allen, boo, Cowboys. Boo. Was Reggie White a, a running back? He was, wasn't he? No, no. OK, he was a defensive oh. lineman, defensive lineman. Oh, that's right. Because he was really big. Well, well never well, mind then. Well, you tried, Sherry. <laughs> I tried. I you did. sure did. Good, I tried. good effort. <laughs> Uh, last one, Jonathan Carranza writes, Dear Alan and Sherry, what was your favorite hide-and-go-seek spot as a kid? Uh, your mom. Fucking got him. <laughs> Fucking got him. Ooh. Ooh. Did you ever play hide-and-go-seek and then, like, because we always played, like, outside in the woods mostly, and, mm -hmm. like, I'd be hiding behind a tree, and then you have to pee. Like, you're, everything in you is keeping you from peeing because you're, like, so hyped up and scared at the same did it ever happen to you um no oh okay <laughs> well never mind then yeah sorry <laughs> um you're you're supposed to adequately empty your bowels before beginning, <laughs> before beginning i wasn't allowed beginning. to go in the house though till it got dark i hope all you guys have adequately emptied your bowels before watching the show quite frankly 